Hello, this is Olivia. I'm the founder of the Academy of Botanical Art, sharing art tips with you today from our program, 10 Steps, A Course in Botanical Art and Illustration. Today's tip, finding your natural curve. The natural curve is a unique way of understanding how to position your hand on paper. Every student holds their pencil or their paintbrush differently. Some hold it tighter, some left-handers might curl their hand. Regardless of the position of your hand, you can get the most out of your strokes if you understand this concept of the natural curve. So I'm going to demonstrate for you. If you were to hold your pencil and do and the pencil very tightly, you'd see that you can barely get any movement out of your pencil. If I just start to move my fingers a little bit, my stroke increases by two, three times the size. And now if I say, well, let me move my hand. Well, yes, certainly I can get a four inch stroke out of that. What about my wrist? Well, with my wrist, I can go much farther. But if I hold the paper so that my elbow is locked, I can actually get a very comfortable stroke. I can get a stroke that I can keep repeating. This is really a wonderful thing to understand, especially if you're working in watercolor and you want to paint very large surfaces, long branches, large leaves. So let's take the concept of a leaf. And I will show you by taking the midrib first of a leaf, locking our elbow, and drawing the center. I can create in my natural curve the one side of the leaf because I'm in my natural curve. But how do I go to this side? Because this side is not the natural curve. What I have to do is turn my paper around and by turning my paper around I'm once again in my natural curve and I can finish the leaf. Now if I give you an example of what about the secondary veins that come in a leaf? If I take my elbow and I lock it in position, I can make my secondary veins complement my natural curve. Well, what happens to this side? That's the opposite. If I take it and I turn the paper around again, I can make this very simple locking my elbow. I can move down and make my leaf veins very consistent and very even and create them so that they are not shaggy or wavy or wiggly and that I get a nice uh, fine point at the end of my vein. To further demonstrate how this works, if I were to draw a straight line, in many cases we do this toward ourselves. We pull our line toward ourselves like this. Well, we can only go so far because our stomach gets in the way. So now if I try to get a second one, you see it starts to get very shaky. But if I turn my paper sideways and I draw my line with the elbow locked into position, I can get that line, that second line. If I, for example, was drawing stems, I can get this second line without looking so wiggly and much straighter. So this is the example of the natural curve. I think you should all give it a try. It's a wonderful exercise. And uh, the proof of the pudding on this exercise is if you take a look at the Jungle King portrait, it's a watercolor painting, and these extremely large leaves required numerous veins. And if you look at the veins on that leaf, you will see how they're very, very, very consistent, and they were achieved by my locking my hand, my elbow in position. Thank you for joining us. To learn more about the Academy, visit us online, academyofbotanicalart.com.